What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is David Hanlon, AKA The Laptop Legend, and today, trading stocks, I made well over $4,000, and it feels really, really good to have my E-Trade up and running, finally. I mean, having unlimited buying power is like being a kid in a candy store, I swear. I can take big position sizes whenever I think a stock is gonna go up, and uh, clearly, it's paying off. So, I'm excited to see what tomorrow brings, because we have a stock that absolutely went full-blown supernova today. I mean, it's already come from well under a penny, and uh, was chilling at like five cents. So it was already like a thousand percent return. But then today it more than doubled, which is pretty nuts. And uh, it's setting up for either a continued run tomorrow, exponential, or some really, really nice panic dip buys. I'm excited for that. And I'm gonna try to nail them with like 500,000 shares. So definitely come along for the ride. If you are not in the Discord already, definitely check out the link down in the description because I call out my plays live whenever I'm buying this stuff. And uh, it's pretty helpful if you're a noob and you don't know when to get in these types of plays because they can move pretty quickly. And you know, sometimes it panics quickly, bounces quickly, and then panics even lower. And you gotta, you gotta be on your toes to be able to, to make some profit with this. But it's the type of thing that just comes with practice. And that's why I make these videos so you guys can be more prepared in the future. So if you find this type of content helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and uh, yeah. I'm gonna dive in my computer to talk about this stock, baby. All right, guys, so this is the absolute chart of the day, GGII. Oh my gosh, I mean, it just went really, really insane. You guys can see this breakout past this level here, and uh, this is one that I missed the majority of the gains on, actually, on Friday, because, all right, I can't draw a clear line, but you can see what's going on there. I mean, huge, absolutely huge breakout. Two massive green days in a row. Today was obviously way bigger than uh, even Friday was. But you can see Friday still ran up pretty nicely. Still ran up pretty nicely. If I change the time frame for you guys, let's make it like five days. So you can see a little bit better. I mean, it gapped up and pretty much just closed right at those highs. So this, if you could have overnighted this, it probably would have been a decent one. But again, I just don't like risking it in this type of market environment. Um, but this had a beautiful gap up. Went straight into a spike. Had a tiny dip and then just kept on ripping. Kept ripping in new highs. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely insane run, and uh, this is the time where you can make a ton of money, guys. I mean, this thing literally doubled pretty much for market open within, what, an hour? Less than an hour, so absolutely insane chart. And what's craziest about this chart is that I didn't even start trading it, I don't believe, until like this first little dip right here, and that was with small size. So I didn't start taking big size until the backside of this move, buying some of these dips, and uh, it's just crazy because I was still getting my E-Trade figured out, still getting it set up, making sure that everything was working correctly. Now I'm 100% ready to go on E-Trade. So if we get another type of rip like this on a stock again, which we will, it always happens, plays out over and over and over and over and over. The next time this happens, man, I'm going to be so ready. I'm going to be prepared and I'm going to nail that thing with, with huge size because these run-ups are insane, man. You put in, I don't even know, bro. I don't even know. You put in 500,000 shares. At, uh, at six, what is that? What is that, 30, 30 grand you put in at six? And I mean, up here, what is that? I can't do that math in my head. 30 grand goes to, goes to 4,500, no, 4,500? No, 45,000. I'm tripping, that's crazy. That's crazy, guys. It's just insane gains. Uh, but this is, this is the chart of the day, guys. This is the chart of the day. And uh, I mean, it, it broke out past 10 and it closed really near those highs. So uh, the thing about this is, it could still run another day tomorrow. I'm not putting that out of the question, guys. This definitely could run another day tomorrow. But the thing is, with how much it is currently up, I gotta be really careful right at open because this has the potential uh, to go into a, a panic. Now, the main thing I'm gonna be watching is, what does it do? Does it gap up? Does it gap down? Does it stay at the same spot? Does it stay at the same spot and then start selling off at open? Does it stay at the same spot and start going up? Because this could be a pretty easy buy for me if this thing is, uh, you know, it pretty much does nothing, it goes sideways, and then it opens at 10, 11, and there's a bunch of buying right at open, uh, and it just rips through these highs here at 10, 5. That's gonna be a pretty easy buy for me because this thing has the potential to keep going a lot higher. So I'm gonna be on very high watch. This is my number one watch right at open, absolutely for sure. But the other thing that it could do that honestly might be more likely is it goes into a panic. And it gets some big red candles because there's people taking profits. It starts tanking. People get scared. Triggers some stop losses, etc. And this thing could, uh, you know, easily panic. And if it does that, that is an even better buying opportunity because it's going to have a nice bounce there. 
So that's what I'm looking for on this stock, guys. And uh, today, the main thing that I was doing was just looking at some of these uh, these technical lines and seeing you know, where the support and resistance was intraday. You can see this line here never broke. So even though it came down here, uh, it always made a higher high, uh, I guess a higher low in this case. And um, you know, it was able to break past this level, make a new higher high, and uh, really just rip into close. So that's what's cool about this. And uh, you know, I, I was just a big fan of this chart overall. Anytime you see a bunch of red candles, again, that is typically the best entry, the safest entry on a chart like this. But you got to keep in mind, you know, how much is run up because if it runs up a ton and then it sees a little pullback, look at the big picture because it definitely has more room to fall. But in this case, you know, I bought here. Uh, I ended up buying here and uh, just a lot of these little dips I bought. And again, I wish I had the chart that showed you guys exactly where I bought. I still can't figure out how to do that. Uh, supposedly, you can do it on E-Trade. I still couldn't figure it out even on E-Trade Power, like Power E-Trade Online. So if you guys know how to put like the little triangle where I bought and sold, uh, definitely let me know because I'll start showing you guys those charts, uh, at least when I'm trading on E-Trade. But this is a beautiful, beautiful stock. Absolutely love it. And uh, number one watch tomorrow for sure. The other one, GVSI, guys, uh, this saw another explosive breakout day and uh, not quite as explosive, but it closed right near those highs. And uh, I think it'd be cool. If this saw a day today, I guess tomorrow, like like GGII saw today. So I'm going to be watching for that. Um, but otherwise, I'll be looking for short on this one because there actually are shares to short. And, you know, the more it goes up, the more it potential has to come down. Now, I think it's I think it would be a better short if it spikes up to 10 cents like GGII did today. Unfortunately, there's no shares to short on GGII because I feel like it's, it's likely to be a great short at some point, uh, at least for a day or two. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens on these guys. But these are still my number number one and number two watches uh, going into tomorrow. Those are the main things that I'm personally be trading. HTZGQ, this stock, uh, it, it you know, it spiked it open. Spiked really well open. I think we had some Discord members bank on this one. Uh, and then I ended up shorting into this, making a little bit here. And uh, it just kind of consolidated in this range. So I hope that this does something. I hope it makes up its mind. Um, let's go here. You know, it's kind of consolidating. I hope it sees another panic like this. That'd be epic. Or I hope it breaks to new highs. Uh, one of those two things would be amazing for me. And uh, I'm willing to do whatever. Because now that I uh, that I have E-Trade, I can go long and not worry about using up a ton of buying power. So I can easily buy, you know, 5,000 shares, cut it if I need to, rebuy 5,000 shares, cut it again if I need to, and I have unlimited buying power. So it does not matter. I'm not worried about that. But this is still a big watch. And then ETCG, guys, the other one that we were trading a lot, at least that I was trading uh, a lot on uh, on Friday. This one had a, a big gap up today, spiked it open, and then ended off ended up fading off down past these lows. And uh, it's annoying because I actually got chopped out right here. I was, I was shorting it on the break of 52, because you know that that was kind of the low of the day on Friday, and I expected it to go into a panic when it broke down past there, but it really didn't. It was kind of choppy, and then it sold off. So I missed out on the majority of the gains from shorting there. Uh, but this is now down, you know, two big red days in a row, and potentially could try to see a bigger bounce. But honestly, man, uh, I'm not too sure at this point. So the the more it's come down, the more choppy it's probably going to be, and the less opportunity there will be. So I'm not watching that one super super hard. Uh, I guess the last. Um, big one that I'm watching is NGCG. Uh, this stock closed really well and potentially could could start running a little bit more. Um, I just missed, I guess, the boat on this one, and it, it didn't have the type of volume that uh, really means there's enough liquidity for me to take the size that I want. Um, and I mean, I guess I could have, but this just wasn't as great a trade as GGII. It just didn't have as much interest, uh, didn't have as much liquidity. But definitely it was up a lot today, so I'm definitely gonna be watching this tomorrow uh, and see if it can continue to, to do something. You know, maybe it spikes it open and, and it makes a good, uh, a good buy it open. I'm not sure, but uh, it's definitely gonna be on my radar, but you can see, you know, three big green days in a row, so, uh, and there's no shares of short. So I'm not super, super hyped about this one, but I think it could still do something cool. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it in terms of OTCs, not too much else is uh is really doing anything um there's probably a few that i'm forgetting i think we had a couple couple runners that were doing something today um uh, but th that's pretty much it and then uh there were a couple nice nasdaqs if you guys are interested in that again i'm trying to make this video a little a little bit quicker um after hours ntec i think there's some merger news so it spiked up if you want to check that out tomorrow morning uh the main spiker from today was iht this thing just absolutely squeezed low float huge volume came in uh, right into close and then just kind of faded off in after hours. So we'll see what happens. Um, but, you know, could potentially be interesting tomorrow. And then the last one I want to put on your radar, guys, is RHE. Because this one, if you if you go and look here, uh, well, actually, you know what? Let me go, let me go 10 days, 30 minutes. So it's basically had this pattern 
uh, pretty recently where it'll spike up and then it'll have a day where it like kind of just fades off and consolidates and then it'll spike up and then it'll fade off and have a day where it just consolidates and then it'll spike up and it'll have a day where it just fades off and consolidates but every single time it's made higher lows. Uh, so at this point, I think this is on biggest watch tomorrow to see if it can spike right at open. And uh, if it can't, I would not be holding past the low of this day because that's officially making a new low and uh, I would say that is that is not a good thing. So I'm looking for this to spike right at open. Again, it's a NASDAQ, so I probably won't be trading it, but I think it has the potential to uh, continue this pattern. And we'll see if it can make it over this, uh, this area right here. Maybe it can't, I have no idea. It's kind of just consolidating right now, but we'll see. I think it'd be cool if it saw another spike right at open, at least made it over 23. So we'll see what happens. But uh, this is just one I want to throw on your radar because it's it's always uh, it's always doing something like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. I want to make it a short video for you guys. But uh, yeah, hopefully you, you found it helpful. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, you should know the drill by now. Let's go better together. Bebé, dime por qué te mientes No puedes esconder todo lo que tú por mí sientes